Hi, Stephen from Owner Disso. Here's a live stream of uh, the Helios 300. I'm going to show off a little bit of the laptop as well as some gaming performance. I'll uh, show off uh, the difference between turbo mode, uh, balance mode, and also uh, different uh, fan settings, of course. And uh, also change some quality settings, give you an idea. Now, of course, I've done all, most of my testing now, and it uh, yeah, runs pretty well, I must say. I, I like it. And I've done uh, in my video uh, for my review, you will see that I've done uh, all the testing on different quality settings um, for both balance and turbo mode. So, without further ado, let's have a quick uh, quick look. Now, one thing you want to take a note here that it is out of the box undervolted by 125 millivolts straight away. You can see that here. Now, I haven't played around with that, and I, I will do for the review and see if I can uh, improve things, of course. So first up, let's have a look at Far Cry 5. And this is a very resource intensive game. You know, it does get very hot. And at the moment running on balance mode uh, with auto fan. Let's pick your pockets. Oh, sneaked up on me. It's handy that they glow red. Awesome. All right, you know what? Let's see where we are here. Now, this is a game I've played for many hours and haven't actually been able to get anywhere to complete it. I don't know how you complete it. So I think we need to go down here and go into this dark patch, I suspect. Um, now, you'll notice at 40, uh, in balance mode, it's 44. 45 watts it generally runs out yeah you'll get some spikes of course and uh, of course the CPU clock rate will vary but as soon as you activate turbo mode you know like we'll say here we're like oh, 100 FPS I suppose it doesn't in every game improve things but you'll see straight away that the, uh, the watts does increase to about 55 56 watts and some games you do uh, see a benefit. Now, of course, the CPU increases in clock rate as well. And let's uh, disable it again. And it's easy, you've got just one touch of a button. And you'll notice I've got a camera pointing down at the laptop here, so you can see uh, what that's like. And let's activate it again. The GPU clock rate at 1860. Activate turbo mode. You'll see that the GPU clock rate goes up as well. All right, so let's just stick at turbo mode for a little bit. Now, of course, when the clock rates and the power usages go up, temperatures are going to go up too. Now, you've got max fan. Max fan goes up to around about... 55 decibels. Oh, you're goody. Now I do have a a noise meter here because it's over the keyboards. It's a little bit closer than you expect. So they're like 58 decibels. I'm gonna turn off turbo fan. Let it settle down for a little bit. But it's very playable, you know. And in some games, the turbo does boost it to within 5% of a RTX 2060. And I think that is uh, represents good value for $1,200. Of course, you can go for the RTX 2060 model, which will have uh, the RGB keyboard, because this just has the blue keyboard, as you can see. All right, so the fan should have settled down a bit here. All right. So that's 45 decibels. But of course, in the software, the software itself, of course, the home page shows you the temperatures and everything. And I've gone uh, here, it shows you extreme overclocking. Yes, when you have the turbo fan, I didn't bother with the middle one because it makes no sense. Fan control automatic, 
Max, of course, is uh, the 55 decibels or so for the uh, turbo boost. But you can also customize it yourself. Now, at about 80% here, which we'll do. It is a bit lower. Now, of course, you know where your head is. It's obviously going to be less noisy. And in my test, it was about 49 decibels. So that was quite good uh, middle ground, and it produced some good good temperatures as well. Oh no! Oh, I need to jump over the edge. All right, let's go down here. Bit of a gun battle. How was that? All in one sweep. Let's shut them guys up. So we get down there. I don't think I've been there this bit before. Now in terms of I don't see any tearing there, but playing Overwatch I saw quite a bit of tearing. Because of course you don't have uh, G Sync. And that's you know the difference uh, about between the the Triton 500 and uh, and this. Well, the RTX 2060 model of the uh, the Triton 500 doesn't have uh, G-Sync either, but the 2080 model. I want to drive the thing. And the good thing about that, it has Op Optimus and G-Sync, so you can choose yourself. As a muck switch, but that's only the 2080 Max Q model because the regular one, the 2060, just has Optimus. Now the battery life I'm getting on this is uh, about five hours. That's streaming YouTube at 25% screen brightness and power saver. You know, I get some ammo. All right, so this is an ultra settings, right? So let's now this is at low settings. Okay, that was at low. All right, so let's switch it up to ultra. You'll see, you didn't see that much difference, really, do you? I mean, you might as well stick at Ultra. And it certainly looks a lot better. So I think all in all, Far Cry 5 runs really well. All right, so let's switch games. Now, one thing I have done, of course, you get this hard drive kitty, and it says it does warn you about putting, uh, you know, in, it might affect your warranty. Now... I know you've asked some questions there, you know, will it affect your warranty? And I, I think in the United States, you're allowed to do these things. And I, it's very easy to do in my review. I am showing how to do that. It's, um, you just wrap that uh, rubber strip around the hard drive, put it in the spare slot. And uh, there's a, a cable then, which you just slot into the motherboard nearby. And it's very easy to do. And it's criminal that they ask, they ask you to take it to a service center to do such an easy task. Uh, you know, and I can't see how it can affect your warranty, you know, you know, if it's just your panel goes, how is that putting a hard drive in going to affect it? If your keyboard breaks, that can do it, you know, it just makes no sense to me. So here we got ultra settings, and again, look at the, uh, the profile we've got here, let's put on auto fan, everything normal, okay. Now, Overwatch, you do see some benefit with the turbo boost. So, well, we're not actually in game. So, auto mode, 160 FPS. No, very. <laughs> it jumps around a lot, doesn't it? As soon as I talk, it goes down. Turbo mode on. So 
so yeah it's going to be from about 160 to 170 odd uh, 55 watts now, all right so we're now on turbo mode and even an ultra settings you know I was getting around about 138 FPS the speakers on this perhaps aren't the best yeah I mean okay they're average you know for the size they're probably average I mean they've got the waves audio max uh, that's so that seems to help uh, I get around a you know 74 decibels if I recall so it's just average it's certainly clear enough okay for watching movies I found the screen to be very good um, the, the ghosting test that was very good 94% uh, of sRGB I think 70% of NTS uh, of Adobe RGB so that was pretty decent I think it was 315 nits of brightness and even at 25% brightness it was fairly good certainly compared to the TUF 505 you know the 25% brightness this was brighter uh, so I think that maxed out about 290 nits and that was only like I think 62 62 uh, srgb and the ghosting performance between the two was night and day this was so much better Ah, about time! So you get some help. Ah! So you shot from behind. So yeah, so the frame rates look pretty good. I would try. I, I would load the settings here, um, but of course you have to start the game again. Come on, I did most of the leg work there. Let's get it. Come on, we've got to get the base. No, I had the life sucker, don't we? You life sucker. <laughs> For the headphones, call it the headphones, it's good. I find, uh, I find it a pleasure to play on. Do I prefer this to the Triton 500? Well, it's nice if you want a number pad. I mean, this is the option to have because the Triton didn't have a number pad. Ah, oh, come on, guys! Oh, that's it. I made a mad dash with the turret. Look at that. Go on, guys! Oh my god! They're like a millimeter away. Yes, good move. My strategy of being a bullet sponge. <laughs> Jeez. 
Jeez, fucking Bob. Bob is tough. Kicked my ass. Do something. Yeah, don't take on Bob. Uh, so you, you see, like even with a turbo fan and uh, you know the turbo button move, it's quite good. Let's turn that off. Let's see where we're at. Whoa. Take down his shield. Just it's tough when you get taken from behind. I mean, I'm like getting hit on the top of the head, shot and out on the bum. All right. Don't carry her back there, we got a fucking hell, but we, we need your help! Blast away through here, oh yeah. Ah, oh, it comes from behind. Where are my guys to help me? So you you will see up to like ninety there, you know. So let's uh, activate custom fans. Now this type of setting is probably it's good. Oh, you can max out the fans. You can do what you want. That's ah, impossible, isn't it? Just can't get past these guys. I got a turret. Guy with a big freaking anti tank gun. <laughs> Come on! Yeah, they, they did well. Alright, so Overwatch plays good. So, what we'll do, we will max out the fans, but not overclock. We'll play Battlefield 5. Now, the screen also has, it's quite rigid. So, the screen is made of aluminium, of course. Look at that. The deck's made of aluminium. The base is plastic. Phillips head screws to gain access. It's very easy. Now, that's one big selling benefit compared to the Triton series, because that is an inverted motherboard. If you've watched my video on that, that was a bit of a nightmare. Uh, you know, you take everything out, you've got to unclip lots of different cables and uh, pull lots of tape away. And, uh, you know, I did it all and uh, upgraded the SSD, uh, repasted while I was in there. And, uh, you know, the downside was it didn't work when I put it back together. There's no quick, easy test then, is there? Like, at least in this type of system, pop away around the motherboard, put your stuff in, you quickly fire it up. But you can't do that with a Triton. You have to put it all together and then find it doesn't work. Any loose cable, I mean, I got it to work, but... Uh, So I think the Helios series makes so much more sense unless you want a 2080 Max Q. Alright, so the settings here. All the settings. DX DX11. I'm not sure I've played outpost. Let's do this one. So Let's see, you want to add the 1070 Max Q results to the, uh, the review? Yeah, I will do that. In my review, I plan to do the 1070 Max Q, the 2060, of course, and I'll probably throw in a few 1060 results in there. So we just have 
protect these, do we? They destroyed. I was just there. Can you rebuild it? Oh, they're firing fucking tanks at it. No wonder. Oh, I'm going to have to I'm go around the hills here and shoot them. I've not played this mode before. Nope. Oh. Alright, so it's a bit limited. Fuck it, well, finally. It's like bulletproof. Look at this, I don't know if I like this run. It's like mayhem back here. Do we have any? Uh, do we have any artillery? So is it worthwhile going for the uh, the regular 2060 model over this? I think this works fine. You know what's that one about fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars? Have we just done back here? We need tanks, man! Oh, I was getting shot at in there. I mean, this. I need a freaking gun on this. No idea where I'm going. I'm heading towards E. That's what I want. I want one of those. Let's change down. Uh, let's see where we're getting. Right, 60, 70 FPS there, won't we? Let's change the settings down to medium. This is like the most bizarre game. Ah, <laughs> it's impossible, isn't it? This one seems a bit one-sided. They've got all the fucking tanks. Sounds like a tank. Hey, wait, I want to come in! Come in! Alright, so let's switch it to turbo mode. As you can see, it, the, the wattage goes up. So 93, 92 FPS. Turbo mode off. So about the same. So in this game it doesn't really actually benefit that much. I'll turn it back on now for shits and giggles. Go we knocked down A, I don't know how, because got no freaking artillery. Well, it's the most insane game, this one. I prefer Conquest or Team Deathmatch. You know where you are with those. 
Now this one I've got no idea. So even a medium, I mean even a medium this looks good. You know what I mean? So this remember turbo mode. Oh great, missile strike. How do you call in a missile strike? Yeah, it took an Exocet missile to take me out there. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so that's Battlefield 5. Libro of Fan Control Custom. But we'll turn it. Turn it quite a bit way down, look. And we'll see how we get on. Well, thank you, thank you for uh, you know tuning into my stream. Um, it's uh, you know it's it's tough. Yeah, I mean I was gonna do streams on YouTube, but I always felt that the video was too long, then people wouldn't watch it. So, and I wanted to get some followers on Twitch, so I'll condense it down and upload this to YouTube. And the build quality, yeah, the build quality is pretty good. I say it's pretty solid. It's lightweight, about, about five pounds. The webcam is fine, that's up top, 720p. It's nothing special, but it works fine. Let's have a look at options here. Let's put on ultra. Secure the hostage. Get through that. Let's reinforce this baby. Alright, this room is now airtight. It's alright mate, I've got you. Fucking stick up behind me, you bastard! We provide the hostage. That's good. Put a band-aid on you, you're fine. Took some bullets, you did. Hostiles regrouping. Secure the air. So what's the temperatures like? Say the temperatures are a bit higher now because of course I haven't got the fan going much. So let's turn on turbo. It's 
crank up the fans and the clock speed. I thought I had a booby trapped. So it still goes to like 90 degrees. Before we do that, let's uh, change it to auto and 80% fan. So much for that but all in all i think it did pretty well all right so last game let's do apex legends i can land somewhere with some guns i don't really play this that much because i usually do land somewhere with no guns now when i do my testing like uh in pubg believe it or not i did actually i came in second which i <laughs> never do but uh i played the whole game you know for at least 45 minutes i usually go somewhere where there's not that much action because i want to change quality settings lower it down to low and see what difference that makes and me uh, measuring the the frame rate of course uh, so plus also you know the longer I play it gives us a chance the heat sink to get as hot as possible so do i prefer this over the asus um, tuf 505 i do without a doubt i mean the screen is better I've uh, measured the, the thermals and that much on that yet, I haven't had a chance, but uh, this is certainly faster. I'll show you a few comparisons in a second. Alright, so what we've got here. I've got everything pretty much on low so you can see what the best you're going to get here, and I'll change it as we change, as we get all going. I want some guns. Oh, God, it's got a pistol. Always oh, a case, isn't it? Jesus, got a pistol. But 140 FPS though, that's pretty good. No, two pistols, why not, eh? I thought two. Don't count on me, this. Body shield, I need one of those. I can't believe I've only got a pistol. This place was crap, mate. Finally! Oh! I got them! I got them! Is that? Ah! I know! Pissed! I know ammo! I'm trying to thump him.
Good job. I killed the whole squad. I got you, friend. You did a good job, man. Thanks for that. Thanks, buddy. Got our friend's banner. This is great. Ah! Shot in the back as I was starting ammo. Bugger! He did so well and all. But, alright, so we'll tell you what, we'll play one more time and we'll increase the settings. No, we don't have VC guns. Alright. Hi, hi. Hi. Actually, we had a few settings on high, didn't we? But as for the chassis temperatures, yeah, the the keyboard doesn't get too hot, really. I mean, in the center it gets a bit warmer, but around the you know the AWSD keys and that's fine. I think the max temperature I saw was about 50. I think it did that underneath. Got max details, turbo mode. Still only got a pistol though. Fire, oh, great. So I'm gonna come out there with a pistol again. Let's get this back. Great pistol. That's what you get for a, a pea shooter. Thanks. Thanks. Good looking out. Give me a sec. Recharge your shields. I'm repairing myself. Found it, I've got a gun! And steal a gun. Contact with target. Fire. In contact with enemy. Lock him up. He's spotted. Kill an enemy. Reloading. Reloading. Taking a minute. Remember, this is back settings. Check out the whole squad. He's a good guy. I've got some good players on my team.
<laughs> that was funny. I don't get further away. What's the fucking point of that? I'm lucky I've got a couple of good guys on my team. <laughs> Oh no. I want bullets, man. Give you a fucking pistol load. Hey, champion! Yeah, <laughs> I've never been champion, eh, man? That's it, folks. I should take a photograph of that. Look, it's on video evidence. One kill. That's all right. Do for me. Well, that's it, folks. Well, thank you very much for for tuning in, and uh, review will be up uh, shortly. So, stay tuned. Bye. <laughs>